Show the world what happens when the sun explodes inside you. How many stories of nuclear war are hidden in our bodies? 574, the number of stillbirths and miscarriages after the bombs of 1951, before the bombs? 52. Bella Gomboj told the UN she could no longer have children, that she saw her friends give birth to ugly things. Neta gave birth to something resembling the eggs of a sea turtle, and Flora gave birth to something like the intestines. She told this to a committee of men who washed their hands of the sin, these women who bore unholy things, created from exploding spits and ugly things, and how these women buried their nightmares beneath a coconut tree, pretended it never happened. Sinister, hideous, monster, more jellyfish than child. And yet, they could see the chest inhale, exhale. Could it be human? Neda gave birth to something resembling the eggs of a sea turtle, and Flora gave birth to something like the intestines. In our legends lives a monster, Medenaguay, woman demons, unhinged jaws, swallowing canoes, men, babies, whole shark teeth in the backs of their head, necks that stretch around an entire island, bloodthirsty, hungry for babies and pregnant women, monsters. My three-year-old likes to hunt for monsters in our closet. We use the light of my cell phone, a blue glow in the dark. We whisper to each other, did you hear that? Did I hear what? The silence of my dreams is severed by her screaming nightmares, and I am a mewling mess turned monster huddled in the corner, wide-eyed, wild-haired, unable to touch, unable to care, unable to bear the exhaustion, anxiety clawing away at my chest. Am I even human? Postpartum. Easier to diagnose after the fact, two years later, those memories still haunt me when I became the bump in the night, when I realized I needed to protect her from me. Did you hear that? <clears throat> Nera gave birth to something resembling the eggs of a sea turtle, and Flora gave birth to something like the intestines. In our legends lives a monster. Woman demons, unhinged jaws, swallowing their own babies, driven mad, turned flesh rotten, blood through their eyes, their teeth, their nose, were the women who gave birth to nightmares considered monsters, were they driven mad by these unholy things that came from their bodies, were they sick with the feeling of horror that perhaps there was something wrong with them? My three-year-old sleeps next to me. I have lost my fangs and ugly dreams. I watch her chest inhale, exhale, know that she is real, she is mine. I try to write forgiveness and healing into our story, into myself. In legends lives a woman. Turn monster from loneliness, turn monster from agony and suns exploding in her chest. She gives birth to a child that is not so much a child, but too much a jellyfish. The child is struggling for breath, struggling in pain. She wants to bring the child peace, bring her home, her first home inside her body, 